Hello, I'm the same person as Richard Ayuadi. Welcome to Gadget Man. <laughs> there we go. I love that. Where I get to celebrate some of the world's yeah. best gadgets. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I am just a little bit tense, so you understand. How do you think I feel? <laughs> and introduce you to the most amazing and bizarre technology from around the globe. Do you want some quiche? Yeah, sure. That is, that is an innovation for a dinner party, isn't it? There we go. This week, engage the robot arm. Gadgets designed to take the darn drudge out of do-it-yourself. So, before a do is in any way furthered, let's tool up and get down to business. It is said by people that our homes are our castles, but unlike castles, they always seem to need bits doing to them, which is why every bank holiday, 18 million of us saps end up here in a DIY store, vaguely wandering around trying to find the right density sandpaper. No, DIY just isn't my jam. I dislike the climbing of ladders, the spreading of paint, the buying of fluids, and the purchase of tools. In short, I'm not too sure about DIY. I'd prefer GDIFM. Gadget's doing it for me. Perhaps I can get these home improvement tasks done by upscaling the technology I already have to do the fiddlesome tasks around the house. This Brava robotic mop sweeps the ground beneath my feet. It uses an onboard navigation system to map out where it's been and where it has to go now. I also have a robotic helper for the icky job of cleaning gutters, sweeping away debris using its propeller and brush attachments. The most distressing task of all is cleaning our rooftop swimming pools. So I have this, a fully automated sub-aqua cleaner that vacuums and scrubs the sides, using as little power as a 60-watt bulb, as it does the thing that it does. Leaving me free to sit, near prone, watching demolition footage on my smartphone located on the darkened inside of my TV hat. Pretty good. Well, heavens to Betsy. These are exactly the sort of jobs that I need to farm out to gadgets. When it comes to gardening, we spend almost two billion pounds a year on tools, like this multi-purpose fella. The Honda Versatool comes with a variety of attachments for your strimming and trimming needs, which, if they're like mine, are great and never-ending. So let's start this up. Let's tame this bush. This horticultural Swiss army knife claims to do practically anything you might ever need a garden tool to do. I'm talking hedge trimming, blowing, edging, pruning, cultivating, and of course, strimming. That was a heck of a strim, I don't mind telling you. Wow, but I'd prefer a gadget to take care of the lawn without me lifting the proverbial. Let's meet this fella. It's the Husqvarna Automower 265 ACX. Let's hope the makers of this are better at making mowers than coming up with catchy names. It claims to be able to cut your lawn on its own. It's a robotic lawnmower, let's test it. This state-of-the-art mower uses an ultrasonic sensor and guide wires around the lawn's perimeter to manoeuvre itself around. And there's no need to worry about your cat getting an unwarranted trim. Its sensors will prevent any collisions. When it gets low on power, it returns to its charging station, like a dog would if it were this mower. And there's more. If it's disturbed in any way by, for example, bandits, it will even send a warning text to your mobile. Well, is grass getting shorter? Yes. And am I doing anything? No. So those two things are pleasing. It seems perfect. 
Seeing my robotic mower cut the lawn has sent thoughts rushing to my skull. Perhaps I can find gadgets that can speedily transform the inside of my house as well. Let's consolidate and group our thoughts in an orderly manner. I need to decorate a room in this house. I just need to. The decor offends me. Can gadgets help me do this? And what's more, could they do it in just a few hours? I'm going to decorate this empty shell of a room in my house into a space fit to host a tea party. I will then invite some TV makeover titans to witness the whole process. Before I begin, I'm going to pick the brain of architect and construction expert, Charlie Luxton. I want to get your opinion on some gadgets that are meant to be for the novice, so yeah. it'd be good to get your expert eye on them. OK. Who needs a tool-laden garage when you've got this transformer gizmo? So, essentially, what this is, it's a workbench in a box. You've got your circular sorry thing. Put it down. You've got a drill. Handle. The Power 8 plugs straight into the mains. Or its two rechargeable batteries allow you to work cordlessly outside. It strikes me that it's a lot of fun to use, putting it all together and slotting it and clicking it. And, and it's, it is sort of like a, a big boy's toy. So from that perspective, I think it's probably a lot of fun. Helping us assess my DIY gadgetry is Charlie Foreman Pete. Okay, lovely. In the home? Excellent. Very good. Wouldn't necessarily use this particular product at work, but in the home I would. Charlie's right-hand man was nearly Charlie's no right-hand man after a nasty DIY accident. How, how did you cut your hand? I presume it wasn't a duel. No. OK. I was using one of these saws without a proper guard. Wow. I am concerned about safety with these things. There's some gadgets over here that are safe, and let's have a look at them and see if you think they'll be useful. Britain's A&E department see more than 200,000 DIY casualties each year. But this ingenious piece of American hardware is aimed at reducing injuries dramatically. What's pretty amazing about this is that it has a sensor in it, which means that if it comes into contact with human skin, the saw drops below the level and it stops. It really stops? I'm not going to ask you to put your hand in it, or your hand. Yeah. Um, you've been there, done that. <laughs> so we're going to use your lunch. Right. There's a Savaloy in here. It's Bobby Downey. And you're, you're happy about this? I'm very happy. Introduce it. Bloody hell! Saw Stop's blade carries an electrical signal. Upon contact with conductive material like human flesh, it triggers a break and retracts the blade under the table. Bloody hell! All this in five milliseconds, which is a fast amount of time. Oh, my God! So I, was, I thought yeah. it popped. That's pretty good. Oh, look, it's got a tiny, very... tiny little yes. neck. That is amazing. Yes, you're pretty impressed. I am really I'm impressed. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you could have had a less impressive wound if you'd had one of these. Ladders are involved in more DIY accidents than any other piece of kit. But this one claims to be the world's safest. Its adjustable outriggers make it five times less likely to tip to the side. And its built-in spirit levels help you to put it up at the most stable angle. I, I love not falling. I'm never happier than when I'm not falling to my death. <laughs> Actually, ladders are incredibly dangerous. So. That is a good bit of kit. The days of whacking finger with hammer could be over as well. Designed with a magnetic head, this gadget grips nails in place so you don't have to. Its rapid-fire mechanism hammers away 60 times a second. This is actually mainly for tight spots, where, you know, you're doing that, you don't want to be in a tight area. What I reckon is that's why they invented the screw. Sure. Because well, that seems a little over the top and... OK, what I'd say to that is... OK. Smashing down walls is another potentially dangerous activity, as well as being extremely tiring. You've got a friend? Yeah. This is the world's smallest remote-controlled demolition robot. No need for sledgehammers, 
we can stand back at a safe distance while he does all the whacking. Here we go, this is how to demolish a wall with ease. Okay. There you go. Yeah. One brick at a time. Yeah. This machine is capable of immense nuance. Witness me as I delicately remove one brick at a time to demonstrate its dexterity. I really just want to whack it. <laughs> OK, OK, well... I got tired of delicacy. <laughs> so, yeah. A great restraint. Yeah. I thought you showed great okay, restraint. OK, and we can swing game. Whoa! There we go. That was the power that was always there. Okay. Thank Very you. Very good. Well, thank you. Very good. If I may... As we pause for sustenance, I pump Charlie for his thoughts on my quest to decorate a room in mere minutes using gadget magic. So, what kind of gadgets would be useful? Well, paint sprayers. You just... And you can do a whole room in, in literally half an hour. That sounds good. What if I want to wallpaper? Well, that's more difficult, isn't it? If you imagine some kind of dispensing unit that had a kind of hopper on the side with wallpaper paste, which had a roll of wallpaper in it at the handle. Yeah. And as you rolled the wallpaper down, it would you know, layer on the, 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 the glue and, and get all the air bubbles out. This all sounds good. I'm going to make some calls. I'm going to get that actioned. Coming up, my tea party guests arrive. <gasps> <laughs> I love that. And I decorate a room in a matter of hours without doing any work. Welcome back, how are you? I've been trying to prove that it's possible to replace DIY by having gadgets and technology doing it for me. There we go. Whoa. Not a bead of sweat. I'm exhausted. <laughs> as spectacular as the Gadget Man house undoubtedly is, inside there lurks a shamefully undecorated room that I plan to make over using a bevy of labour-saving gadgets. But that's not all. I'm hosting a tea party here and will transform this nothingness into somethingness before my guests' very eyes. My guests are about to descend and I haven't even chosen the colour for my signature wall. You can imagine the level of stress I'm experiencing. Luckily, I have the Node and Chroma. This gadget has a scanner, it connects to your smartphone and you can choose colours from the real world, like this, and convert it into digital colour like that. And then I just need to transfer the information from here to the Xmart paint dispenser. Hit it. Xmart has 16 cylinders, each filled with a base colour. By mixing these in different combinations, it can literally produce an infinite number of paint colours. I need just one, which is just as well because my guests have sloped up. Charlie Luxton is already privy to my heart's dear desire to have gadgets do all DIY. Ah, Andy. Andy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Anna. But for Handy Andy and Anna Ryder Richardson, veterans of the 90s TV makeover circuit, my futuristic thoughts could very well blow their heads inside out. I am going to decorate a room merely with gadgets. Don't drift off already, Andy. It's no, going to be a long day. I'm excited by the thought. OK, all right. Well, do you want to come in? You're even more comely in the flesh. <laughs> Mate, I've had that before. No, I haven't. Right, this is the room I'm decorating. Gather in. Huh. Andy, I sense rapport building between us. I want uh, to paint this wall. Yeah. How would you do that? Uh, roll on a brush, I suppose, isn't it? You sicken me. <laughs> Behold my fanuc. Engage the robot arm. <laughs> This robotic Goliath, otherwise known as the Fanuc M10 AI, was made in Japan and plies its trade in car assembly plants around the world. See, look, that's three coupes now, so that's quite good. <laughs> I've had it fitted with this paint brain gun and, for today only, it's here at Gadget Man Towers helping me paint my feature wall. And this literally is watching paint dry. <laughs> better than watching paint dry. It is. There's a huge robot spraying a wall. I mean, what's not to like? It's very <laughs> even, though, isn't it? You think of all the people we've seen rolling in the past and you've got a patch here and a patch there. And... I can see the concept of it, yeah, but it's the setting it up, time and all that. Andy, involved. you're breaking my heart. Why, darling? Why is that? 
It's just you're just so anti fanuc I didn't say that. I didn't say I was anti, did I? All right. I said I can see the concept of it. OK, we can all see good. the concept, okay. but do you like it? It might grow on me. You may be poo-pooing my fanuc but it has painted a large area of wall in a very quick time. And I've not had to do a thing. While my robot finishes up unsupervised, I've got some other machines on the go, printing my tea party knickknacks to order. These are 3D printers. They are printing items for the tea party. <gasps> no. That are They're printing cool, designs. Have you seen that before? Yeah, have but, you? but um, not as much. I feel like I'm in I the never future. Have. This feels like the yes. future. The cube can make a two dimensional design on a PC screen a 3D reality, creating objects up to five and a half inches in size by printing layer upon layer of molten plastic. Andy, uh, speak up. Yeah, I think it's very, very clever, but the point to it is what? The point to it is that one day in the future, after the dust settles, after the interstellar war, we will all be able to download cups of various designs from sites. This is a complete revolution in the way that we make things. Up till now, we've heaten, beaten and treated things. Which and is this, lovely. This is a completely new way of making. This is the future. This you is... genuinely show me something I'm really excited about. Thank you, No, Charlie. because you're going to take you. away... You you're on a computer going... Mm. What happened to big arms beating and sweating yes. and brawn? What I need is focus on gadgetry rather than something that sounded like the end of Officer and a Gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, it's on to perhaps the most reviled of all home improvement jobs, wallpapering. For decades, scenes like this have been playing out in living rooms across the land. All she has to do now is to stick it on the wall. What a mess. Wallpapering by hand is near madness, and yet no one has been able to invent a gadget to do it for us until now. We once shared a dream about a machine that could wallpaper. We discussed a wallpapering machine. And a new true. world that we could build on its shoulders. Wallpaper machine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want to okay. do you want to see it in action? I do want to see it in action. All right. That. That is a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is brilliant. Why well, has no one done that before? It's very flat. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't think why somebody has not invented that before. Well, thank you. As they plan to retire on the proceeds of this ingenious invention, my engineering staff has asked me not to reveal its exact machinations. All I will say is that wallpaper is pulled through a bath of adhesive and then forced flat using a series of rollers. An inbuilt guillotine is the final touch. Now, how does it work then? What's involved in it? It's at that point we part company. Because my engineering staff will not reveal the secret until the patent is lodged. The wall is covered with paper, but before we can take tea, we must furnish, and furnish furiously. One of the greatest fears in organising a tea party is having to build your own furniture. <laughs> but I don't have to do that because I have this. Look at this. It's, it's one sheet, and I can make a chair from this. Have a look. The inventors of these flux chairs took their design inspiration from hooligan-proof football stadium seats. Made from a single sheet of plastic, they simply fold together and boom! The job is done with the minimum of effort. Bending it the wrong way. Which way should it go? Bend it round. Or at least, that's the theory. It's like having a class of children. <laughs> the back's coming. Oi! <laughs> Just get it ready. DIY quickly. people. Oh. <laughs> ah, lovely. Do you want to see a table that moves on its own? Yes, please. OK, let's go. If you push there, straight through... <gasps> there we go. I love that. That is good. Yeah. Designed by Dutch visionary Walter Schublin, this ingenious table is one of only eight 
that exist. Why would you want to walk in table? Why wouldn't you want to walk Yeah, exactly. Table? Andy, you take it for a little walk. I'm detecting a dangerous seam of negativity. Using technology and the bare minimum of physical exertion, it has taken but hours to transform this room. And check it before you wreck it. A wall lined with magnetic wallpaper, so I can rearrange these pictures I love, however I like, without nail or screw. And I have this, any colour of elegant mood lighting I desire, controlled from my smartphone. But most impressively, I've printed out a complete dining set. So let's talk about the 3D printing. You witnessed some of it earlier. Look at all of these little oh, no. objets. They're amazing. Made they by are. the 3D printer. I mean, clearly you can choose to print a fake cupcake for yes. what it's worth, but actually, you know, this technology is going to really transform our lives. Clearly it's at early stages, but the potential is, is endless. This stuff is going to change your life. You're saying it could get even better than this tiny vase. <laughs> And this cupcake, yes, I think we will look back and scoff at this cupcake in ten years' time. Here we are, in a fully decorated room, all done by gadgets. What's your feeling, Andy? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's OK, yeah. It is quite nice. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's like getting blood out of a stone with you, isn't it? It's to work hard on my <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Anna, you're the design expert. What's your verdict? I actually think it's inspiring, to be honest. For a few hours' work, and plus I didn't get my hands dirty, you know, you can only, it can only get better and better, really. It's a brilliant start. You can learn a lot from this kind of positivity. OK, Charlie, what's your feeling? I'm quite impressed. I mean, I remember you talking about the idea of the wallpapering machine, and the wallpaper machine happened, and it has wallpapered. And the robot painting machine has painted, so... Gadgets have kind of worked, haven't they? Well, it feels that in the end it's going to be robots doing a lot of our work, Andy fighting the robots, <laughs> you in favour of the robots, and perhaps you painting faces on those robots. Hmm. Where do you stand on this robot thing, then? Well, I'll tell you where I stand. Go on, go. I've got a robot band, that's where I stand. And they're about to play us out of this. Okay. They're there. <laughs> Next time on Gadget Man, I'll be delving into the itsy bitsy world of downsizing. So, this is the new house? Yes, I've made sure that it's in keeping with the area. 